First things first, apologies if this isn't the best video. Basically, since we got this little doge right here, we can't really leave her alone much. Well, at all, to be honest. Talia is out today, and I know you're probably thinking this is gonna be a Talia Tuesday, but it's not. She's out, so I'm sat at home looking after this pup. Mushu is currently sitting outside, and uh, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions. How are the doggos getting along? They're actually getting along really well, just Mushu is still too big. He's like 28 kilograms. She might be like, I don't know, like two. When Mushu tries to play, it starts off all right, and then he gets a little bit more excited, just puts a paw on her, and she gets flattened. So it's getting there. But they get along completely fine. She's also being a lot better at nighttime and stuff. Like, she's actually sleeping a lot more. She is a very playful dog, although very bitey. Although she's now falling asleep. You want to say something? Yeah. No? Okay. Do you hate being away from home for sidemen shoots abroad? Um, it, it's kind of like neither here nor there. I really enjoy shooting the videos, but it all depends on what else I'm doing at that time. If I have other shoots or if I have other videos I want to be doing, then yes, I hate it. But like this week, for example, I love Lilo, but I am away for two days or a day and a half and I am very excited for it because it's like a, a small break. I'm doing the night before I go, so Talia, it's still like her turn to do the night. I mean, I do love a studio shoot because I feel like whenever we go abroad, we're rarely together. We're, we're normally in teams or pairs or whatever. It's not as enjoyable for me personally when we're not all together. But no, I do love them. Your dream car, aside from the Tesla Model X, but I have already had one of those. I want to get another one, but they just don't make them. I almost bought one, but it was left-hand drive and I just, I'm not doing that. My absolute dream car is a Lamborghini Gallardo. It's the exact one Harry had. Like he literally had the perfect car in my eyes, even in the perfect color. He had a specific edition. I don't even know what type it was. It was like a 50th year edition anniversary or something. It had a different spoiler on it and it looked, oh, it was so beautiful. I do want one at some point, but I kind of don't want one yet. Cause I feel like once I've got that, that's, that's a dream thing ticked off. And I know I'm 31, I know that's kind of old, but I feel like once I've done that, that's one thing less to work to. You having fun there? You having fun? <laughs> would you ever consider managing and helping an upcoming YouTube star you like? I would never think about like managing them. I would definitely be down to help. But at the same time, I think if they're like, if they're up and coming and you know, they're whatever they're doing, realistically for me to see them, it means it's working. So I mean, yeah, if I, if I find a YouTuber I like that, you know, is struggling for whatever reason, I would love to get involved, not as like a monetary thing. I just, I, that's what I've, I've always said when I finish YouTube, that is one thing I would love to do is become like a, like a free consultant for YouTubers that I like. It's not a case of, you know, who's gonna pay me this. It's not a case of how big is the channel, it's just, if I like their content and they need any any help in which I can help somehow, I would love to. How many kids do you want? Ideal amount of boys and girls? I'd be happy with two. Um, I'd have three. Two, three kids, something like that. I think you normally want what you had growing up. So I had three, Tylee had two. And in terms of boys and girls, I mean, I, of course, I'd love a boy, but I don't really care. If we end up having three and they're all girls, amazing. If we have three and all boys, Amazing. I think going into it with like an expectation of like, I want this, this is what I'm having. It's kind of peak, because then if you have the opposite, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. And honestly, I'd be happy with one kid. I'd be happy with four kids. Maybe not five. <laughs> I mean, a dog isn't a kid, and <laughs> two dogs is enough. What exactly went wrong in the recent Sidemen Sunday as a host's perspective? So I actually spoke about this on What's Good, which we recorded today. One thing that went wrong in my eyes was um, the camera crew smashed it, but, hello. Trying to come in? The camera crew were really sick. Like, I think they really, really, like, shone this time. But I did ask them to text me every single time that people did a task and they did not do this. Also, I uh, tried to organize an office where, you know, I could have like 20, 30 YouTubers come in no one was free whatsoever. So it ended up, hey look, Mushu's here. Oh, <laughs> look at them. See, look at us. This is my thumbnail. Honestly, apart from those two things, the only other thing I would have wished for is that people went to more countries, but that's not something I can really 
like we can't know that until it happens. One thing I really enjoyed though, it, I like I love planning videos. I love planning them and I love hosting them. Speaking of managing YouTube channels and stuff, I'd actually love to manage the Sidemen in terms of we all come up with ideas together. I'll host every single one, plan it. I'll go over the edit and stuff like that. Those six can kind of go be the teams. I would love that. I do enjoy filming them, don't get me wrong, but I think I would, in, I would enjoy that potentially even more. Why don't you go to Leeds game in the stadium? I really want to. Now there's multiple, multiple reasons. One, it's really far. Two, I am very busy. And three, I lost a lot of enjoyment of actually going to the stadium once we started getting like a huge following. I took my parents to a game, like a Leeds game, and we were sat in like, we were sat in like a nice area as well. I know. Leeds have a nice area. I know you're you're struggling to believe that. But we literally had people coming to ask for photos pretty much the entire game. I'm happy to do meet and greets and you know, when I'm out, 100%, come say hi, take a photo or whatever. Stuff like that, you know, I'm just trying to, I just want to watch the game. I did a meet up before the game as well and then still ended up having that at the match. I don't know, Leeds are on TV so much now, like I'm, I, I've watched every single game or listened to every single game. I don't know, I do want to go at some point. But like when me and JJ went last season to Leeds Arsenal, that was horrific. It was like a zombie apocalypse. Are you down to help Josh with his potential road to goal series? One million percent. Josh is welcome to my football pitch any day of the week. I want him to come over as well. I just got an electric shock. I want him to come over. I'm waiting to see if it happens. If he starts that series, bro can come to my house every single day, seven days a week, 365. I will definitely, definitely help Josh. Would you rather Speed or Josh score at the next charity match if only one can score? Look, I think Speed scoring would be the like, the maddest occasion. He's built it up now, you know, he he scored, but it was offside. He had a penalty, he missed. He then played in the, the match in Qatar and that, you know, he missed two open goals. I would love Speed to score so much, but Josh has to score. All the side men have scored. No one thought Vic would score ever. He scored two now. Josh has to score. I tried my best last game to set him up as well. I gave him a couple chances. Josh got a score. Do you have any goals for M7E this year? I would love for M7E to con continue growing as much as possible. I want to do another um, release of like MMXIX clothing, which is like mine and Sidemen's together, where loads of the profit goes to uh, M7. I want to do a football event as well this year, like a like an indoor tournament and all the proceeds will go to M7 as well. Excuse me, mister. I want to do more this year charity wise, but I don't know what. If you guys have any suggestions, genuinely let me know in the comments down below. I feel like I definitely want to, you know, try and do as much as possible this year. Uh, M7 is going really well, but I want to also branch out and do everything if I can. You only get your platform once, you know, so use it for good while you can. Would you ever choose to just wipe the fame you have to have a normal life? You keep your friends wealth? Yes, 100%. I get to keep my friends, I get to keep wealth. Look, the fame is nice, right? The fame is nice sometimes. You get into places easier or you get recognized and people are a little bit nicer to you. But honestly, if you said tomorrow, I could just be in the exact same position Earnings won't stop. You can still make videos, but no one like knows who you are, for example, because I do really enjoy the creation of a video. So I wouldn't just say, oh no, I would love to do nothing, still earn the amount and have the friends. If you offered me the chance to be completely anonymous, 100%. Ushi, you're, you're squishy now. Ushi, yeah. Good boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Did you choose the name Lilo or was it already her name? We chose the name Lilo. I, I actually don't know what her original dog name was. But yeah, we have Mushu, obviously. We thought we gotta go for another name that we like that's also the same, you know, universe. Talia really wanted to go with just like a really normal name, like a really human normal name, like Mildred. That's not that normal, but you know what I mean? Like an actual human, human name. Will you start a dedicated vlogging channel? Hell no. I've talked about a golf channel. That is the last channel I'm making. Vlogs on here, I love it. I love the fact that I can just do like one a week. It's chill fun, I can do whatever I want, no expectations, love it. If I did a vlogging channel, I feel like I'd be like, all right, I need daily vlog or something like that, or, you know, weekly vlog and I need to make them good. I enjoy the fact that I can just vlog. One pair of kicks you wish you owned. I mean, I've got most of the shoes that I want. I know that sounds bad, but Freddy Krueger's. Thought they were hideous when I first saw them. Now I love them. I'm gonna just get Lilo. Stop it. Wait. Lilo. I had to just swap the dogs. I love the Freddy Kruegers, but I know they are expensive. One day I'll get them. I mean, the absolute dream pair is the uh, Air Mags, the 20, 
2015, I think it is. I've got the 2011 or the other way around that actually do the self-lacing. That would be amazing. Oh no, it's happened. She's on me. This has been my day, to be honest. Best golf score you've gotten. I scored 100 three days in a row. As in, I literally played three days in a row and I got 100 on all of them. One of them, I literally could have got 99 so easy. I could have got like 97, but I ended up getting like a seven on the last hole on like a par four. One of them, I also technically got a 99, but I don't really count it because I hit the ball into a fence or a hedge. And then I was playing with Vic. Vic went over, picked the ball up and threw it out. And I got 100 exactly. So I kind of don't count that. I kind of accept that's another shot. I should have taken a drop. But I played the other day, which I, you might have seen in my last vlog. I put a clip up. No, no, no. As I was saying, I put a clip up. Oh. Oh. The other day I played with Freezy and we didn't count score because we were playing like 2v2. All three of them were like, that was 1 million percent sub 100. Don't know what, uh, we literally didn't uh, keep score. The last six holes, I was three over. So if you if you play golf and that's fucking sick. How are you mentally? I have been better. I'm just sorry, he's just stole, she's stolen a, a croc. I've done videos on this channel before and I've been like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm in the best place. I love it, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm not there at the moment. I, I don't know why, I'm just not. And I don't want the whole, oh, He's a millionaire that even blah, blah, blah. How can he be upset? It's just a, it's just a mental state in it. No, can you not? Can you do this to my shoe instead? Swap it out, there you go. I'm not in a bad place, just I'm not in a, a, a great place. So hopefully Lilo can bite it out of me. Does Vic get a yellow card or a red card for the illness in the recent video? Thank you for squeezing that during the question. Yes, he got a red card because he went home ill. Of course he didn't. No, of course he didn't. We'll never give a card if it's like a legitimate excuse. And Vic being ill, that wasn't like, you know, he hasn't gone, ah, oh, I can't be bothered anymore, I'm ill. We even said like, uh, we weren't sure if he should even do it in the first place, but he was very down to do it. I mean, he still was in the video. They, both of them, him and JJ, obviously JJ came back with him. They both made great content. You can't get a card for that. I feel like both dogs get absolutely spoiled with a mountain full of toys. I mean, you've literally seen her play with like a bunch. This is the toy basket and it's literally full to the brim. Every time we see a toy, we just buy one. How long did last Sunday vid take to plan? We did a Make-A-Wish and we sat down after. We had a meeting and we were like, we need a video this day. We only planned that for like an hour. Came up with that, I took the video, and I, I literally was saying to the guys like, what can I do in this video? Because I'm not in it. Like they all go traveling, I don't know what to do. So we came up with the whole thing of like, I, well I said like, oh, you know, I'll make an office, I'll, I'll get the maps on the room, like in the room and try and like, have your totals constantly going up and have string where you've gone and stuff. Then coming up with the tasks and stuff, shout out Finn because well, he came up with a bunch and then I kind of just added as well. It took a few hours. It's one of those videos that's very just like, once I've said go to the guys, they create the content just through being in the video. They're not, it wasn't, there's no scripting or anything like that. What are you doing through there? She's being squished. Lilo. Hello. Bro, why didn't you participate in the new Sidemen Sunday video? Because someone had to take it. I was very willing to take it. The other guys were all kind of like, ah, oh, oh, well, I'll take it and I'll, I'll stay at home for 24 hours. And I was like, no, I'm go I'll take it, but I'm not gonna, I don't know what the right word, dos off. Is that a word? That sounds like a, a wank. I slept in a hotel for about six hours. The rest of the time I, I was in that room waiting for phone calls, waiting for any updates, everything like that. Cause I was like, this is, it's a bit unfair. You know, if I just go, here's the planning video, go. And then I just go home. That's unfair. So I was like, I'm going to at least try and put some effort in. Admittedly, it was about three minutes of the video, but hopefully, it did something extra for the video. Do you think YouTube is slowly reverting back to what it used to be? I always think this like, yes, it is kind of like Mr. Beast is saying, oh, you know, you should do slower, long form content, which is what it used to be. Well, it used to be short content, actually. No, we're not, do no, we're not doing this. It used to just be like way more casual content. Oh God, Mushu's coming in. So yeah, I think it is reverting to that, but I think it's so easy to be like stuck in a bubble where I'm only seeing other creators that I know. And I can't judge the whole of YouTube just based on that. There could be some other YouTubers that are absolutely killing it by going in a completely new direction. I think it's very easy to just go, oh, you know, me, Ethan, Randy, Josh is starting to vlog just and doing like simple vlogs. Oh, that's like old school YouTube. That's a very small bubble. So yeah, I don't think it is, but at the same time, I'm really enjoying making old school content. 
and I'm gonna continue to make old school content. My main channel is still gonna stick to, you know, like some newer styles and stuff. But yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying all the videos anyway. I'm gonna be trying to do more. I, w I would have more main channel videos, but honestly, I it's just been a little bit hectic getting a new dog. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there today. Moosh is just stood over her right now. So I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this was all right. I it might have absolutely stunk. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.